Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for the week starting the 7th of September. Oh, it's a tricky old week this week as we have a cardinal grand cross coming to see if we've learned the lessons of last year. Also, we have a new moon which is urging us to take care of ourselves in all ways. Here's your weekly astrology. I heard you say Something good at long last. Gemini, the Cardinal Grand Cross, is asking you to look at your patterns connected to commitment, connected to security. Are there any ways in your life that you overcompromise because you want security? Or do you feel that you are fearful of losing your security? Does it create insecurity within you? There's a part of you that's just so enthusiastic this week and very great at communicating with the people that you love and cheering everyone up and giving so much. But the Cardinal Grand Cross is asking you to go deeper, to look at your fears, to look at your primal emotions. And in a way, it's talking to you about letting go of any issues connected to power and powerlessness and to have a rebirth really, where you come into your power, where you step into the world with confidence, knowing that you are lovable, knowing that you are safe and working on those issues in your own mind about safety. Loads of people I know, in fact, do you know what? Some of the most fabulous people that I know, that I adore, are the ones that have a fear that they're not lovable or actually a belief that they're not lovable and they can overcompensate or they just have no awareness of, of what an adorable soul they are. And this Cardinal Grand Cross is bringing up that issue for you. If there's any part of you that is fearful, whatever it is, that that may come to the surface. But actually, if you've dealt with it, when all those Cardinal Grand Crosses happened in the past, you're able to realise that you are safe in the world, that being you is enough. So it's very exciting. There could also be quite an intense, possibly even unsettling attraction to someone this week. There's a sort of frisson of that energy in the air. Now on the 13th, there is a new moon. The new moon's all about letting go of the past, upping our vibration on whatever topic is coming in and, and transforming and changing and going onwards and forwards. And yours is connected to your home and family. There's some kind of lesson that you're learning or you're letting go of some stuff. It may be if you had problems with your family in the past, if you've got wounds from your childhood, you're able to see them different, differently rather. You're able to let go, you're able to move on, you're able to let, allow your spirit to be in the now. So it's very, very powerful stuff. And if you do have any kind of issues and pain with your family or connected to a sense of home, then you can do some very powerful work on the 13th. Maybe do a meditation, maybe write your fears down or write down your past experience and burn those fears. Allow yourself to let go and move on. But it could also bring about some very, very positive stuff and new beginnings connected to home and family. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Let's go far today and it's all gonna be wonderful. Oh, let's run away, yeah. I bring exciting news. My brand new website is up, which has loads of fabulous free articles, free readings and all sorts for you to explore. It's been eight months of me getting it together, but I really hope you love it because I'm put my whole heart and soul into it. So please go to www.michellenight.com, Michelle with one L. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Oh.